Hello there, one of the most common things I do in DaVinci Resolve is match up a video clip with, an, with a separate audio clip. And essentially, the reason I do this is to get better audio. Because sometimes when I record with my phone, my phone doesn't have the best microphone. And my blue snowball, which sits right next to my computer, which is generally where I'll record like reviews and things, has really nice audio. So. What I'll do is I'll record my microphone using Audacity, and I'll record on my phone using the camera app. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so there are a few ways that you can match up these clips. Um, personally, the way I prefer to do it is with claps, so... I'll do three claps, but you could also scroll through your video and find a loud part, so like here. You could match it up with the on, well, with the audio track and then you could have that but it's in my experience that's not going to be as accurate so find your <clears throat> so get these points matched up pretty close and then put your cursor over them and then zoom way in so here you kind of want to get them as close as possible. So what I'm going to do, in fact, is I'm going to get the very tip. Okay, let's turn off magnet mode. I'm going to get the... Okay, so there's a slight problem with that. And you'll see that the tips are really close to lined up. So you will see that the clip actually moves frame by frame, and this one moves as much as you want freely. So now that we've got them matched up, Feel free to turn magnet mode back on, and now we're good. So, something that I like doing is holding control and clicking both the clips. Then I click link clips. So what that does is that links them together. So, you'll see, now if I grab one, it selects them all. And now you'll hear, since they're both playing, there's almost no noticeable playback, or echo. Hello there, today I'm going to be reviewing It is the there. <laughs> But it's not very noticeable. So if I just mute the first track or whatever track you no, don't need. It's not, it's not that um, and yeah, there's a lot of outtakes before this video here. And yeah. So this is a quite simple process that is really useful in the long run. And can make your videos sound much nicer if you have a better microphone on your mic. Or if you have a better microphone than your camera does. This definitely makes your video sound much more professional. So, thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye.